So it's been a couple of weeks since I showed you what was going on in the vineyards here in Burgundy. Um, in that time, we've had a bit of rainfall, two uh, little showers where we got between five and ten millimeters apiece, depending on, on where you're located. More in the Côte de Beaune, everything south of La Loire, than in the, in the Côte de Nuit so far. Uh, and growth has been extremely rapid. We've had very warm days, 28 to even 32 degrees centigrade, a lot of sunshine. Uh, and there's still enough water in the soil, even though this year we're a bit low, uh, that, that um, the plants have been growing very, very vigorously. And then my daughter is getting in the shot. But <laughs> so here in Mesoperia, you can see we're already in flowering. I mean, it's well underway. Uh, and, you know, traditionally you would count 100 days from mid flowering to harvest in these sort of vintages where the fruit is ripening in August when. You know, the weather is warmer, the days are longer, there's more sunshine. Maybe you're thinking more about 90 days. So, I mean, I think it's likely at this stage, if it continues like this, that we might see a, a late August harvest or even something like 2020. Because a lot can happen. So, you know, it's a little premature to start making predictions like that, really. Um, the growth has been immensely vigorous. You've seen this bustle. They've already done the first Etsy marsh, which is when you cut off the, the, the top of the, the shoots to sort of um, limit the, the, the vines a little bit. Uh, and having been about two weeks behind, uh, we've got now about two weeks ahead. So in a, you know, in a matter of uh, a week and a half, we've had, had a month's uh, worth of acceleration in the development of the plants. So, um, yeah, so far it lo looks like quite an abundant crop. You know, often after frost years, as we had last year, you get an abundant crop the second, the, the following year as the vines compensate. And, um, you know, we'll see, uh, temperatures are supposed to fall a little bit, which would be helpful for flowering. You don't want too high temperatures in flowering or, or, or you get um, or the, or the fertilization aborts. Um, and you don't really want rain during it. Now we do have some rain forecast early next week, so we'll see, we'll see what happens. You know, but if you do get that, you can get collier, which is when, the, again, the berries are bought during flowering uh, rather, than, rather than fertilizing. So, so we'll see. There's a lot can happen, but right now it looks kind of promising for an, for an early harvest. I mean, I don't think anyone really wants a very early harvest, but uh, it has to be said the last few early vintages in Burgundy have delivered some great wines and, and potentially quite an abundant crop. And so this is how uh, Pinot Noir is looking. So you can see uh, Chardonnay more advanced. Um, this isn't flowering yet that I can, that I can see. You know, we're in Pomard here. Maybe, or maybe a couple of flowers just over, over there, but it's not easy to see. Um, so what, what's, what's been done here um, is that the, um, the vines have been, have the, the, these wires uh, here have been, have been lowered and then raised to, to bring the, um, the shoots into, in between them to hold them up. That's important because if you have a th thunderstorm, something like that, or a lot of wind right now, these shoots are still very fragile. They can easily, very easily uh, break off and uh, and then you obviously lose uh, lose a future yield. You damage the structure of the vine, so it's important to protect them. And the other thing that people are thinking about doing now are already the first sort of treatments against uh, well mildew. Mildew is not mildew pressure doesn't seem to be very high so far this year. Uh, oium is another issue, uh, and you can prevent against that by dusting just with sulfur. Uh, especially around flowering, you really don't want oium. So the sort of very critical phase of the year, flowering is when you know, you need to make maximal efforts to protect uh, the vine and to protect the the, uh, the future harvest from uh, from kind of disease pressure. But so far, uh, again, not looking not looking like too much of an issue. Although there is a bit of oidium pressure this year, but but we'll see how it goes.